All right, so here's an example of where we might use something like a Pythagorean triples and checking for uh, something that's a right triangle. Um, before laying tile, a mason needs to ensure that the walls are square to one another. And we talk about that from a construction perspective. And, you know, this is, I used a mason, but maybe you're doing this uh, yourself someday. You bought a fixer upper and you want to lay some tile floor or really any kind of flooring. All right. The, the word uh, square, when we're talking about it from this perspective, is just making sure that you have right angles all over the place. Like when you look at a room, if a room is a rectangle, each corner of the room should be a right angle. All right. But uh, things happen over time, things shift, and what happens is sometimes they get out of square, which means they're not exactly right angles anymore. Or maybe it wasn't constructed perfectly, and so you don't actually have a right angle at one of your corners. One of the walls is pushed uh, in one direction or another. And so we go through this process of making sure that the room is square, okay? So when we talk about making sure things are square, we're talking about making sure that they come together at a right angle, all right? Uh, to do this, they essentially just use a Pythagorean triple. And so if we look at this, here's one corner of the room. So those are my two walls coming together, all right? And if I were to kind of zoom out from this thing, if let's say this was my room, the idea here is that if we're going to lay tile in this room, we just have to make sure that these are all right angles, okay? And if they're not, if one of these things is kind of out of whack a little bit, uh, it's going to mess up what happens, all right, so let's say for, for a moment, uh, let me draw, let's say this side was just a little bit out of square, okay? But the rest of them are pretty good, all right? And so here's what happens, okay? So notice that, that each corner is a right angle except for the top two. Uh, these guys, this one is bigger than a right angle right here, and uh, this one's actually a little bit smaller than a right angle, all right? And so what happens is if I start laying my tile and I didn't check to make sure the room is square, what happens is I start laying my tile against this wall and my entire first row of tile ends up being crooked, but I don't realize it because it's straight compared to the wall, all right? The net result that that has is it messes up every other single wall in here. Okay? By the time we get to this uh, row down here, we have a gap that kind of goes like this, and I have a weird gap at this wall. But I'm also, as I lay the tiles, I'm going to have a weird gap at this wall as well. And so my whole room is going to look completely wrong because I'm laying my tile against a wall that's not square with the rest of the room. Okay? And what happens is when we check to see if things are square, if the room is out of square, what we'll do is we'll adjust it on each end so that the gap is small enough everywhere that you don't notice it. Okay? And this is what a good uh, 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 mason will do if they're laying tile. And so here's how they check this. All right? And this is done in construction and, and other places all the time is essentially they just say, hey, I know uh, Pythagorean triple. What they do is they have at least one or two Pythagorean triples memorized. The easiest one is usually this one. It's the three, four, five, okay? Three, four, five works when you plug it into the Pythagorean theorem, okay? And so what they will do is they'll actually take their tape measure and they'll measure out, you know, four feet on one wall and put a little mark and then they'll measure out three feet on another wall and put a little mark. And to determine if the wall is square, they essentially just take their two marks now and they measure the distance from one mark to the other mark. And if that distance ends up being five, then they know that this thing is a right triangle, which means this is a right angle, and they'll do that at each corner of the room. Okay? But then also what they do here is if they measure this thing and maybe they measure this and this thing is like, uh, I don't know, uh, 5.1 uh, or something like that feet okay, as an approximation, well, now they know it's not square, but they also have an idea of which way it's out of square. Okay? When they look at this thing, they can tell now that this wall, this angle over here is obtuse this is an obtuse triangle, which means this angle over here is bigger than 90 degrees. And that's helpful as they go to make uh, those adjustments in terms of making sure the room looks right.
okay? So this is just one application where Pythagorean triples are used. It's used to determine if two things are actually perpendicular to each other, and we do that by measuring out my two leg lengths and then measuring the hypotenuse to see if I get the Pythagorean triple I was expecting. And if I do, I have a right angle. If I don't, then I have either an acute or an obtuse triangle, okay?